in late January, Jerry Jones uttered that notorious phrase, all in, in the usual sense, not in the sense that he tried to gaslight us into thinking that he was talking about. <laughs> and it quickly became obvious they can't go all in. They can't go out and acquire veteran talent that was available in free agency because they had a three-player contract log jam, C.D. Lamb, quarterback Dak Prescott, and linebacker Micah Parsons. And months went by with no progress on any of those contracts. Finally, with Lamb's deal done, maybe they turn to Dak Prescott. Maybe they don't. Here's Lamb from yesterday talking about Dak's contract situation, which has him entering the last year with the team having no ability to keep him from becoming a free agent in 2025. You go look at our numbers together. They're at the top of the charts. And um, I have no doubt that they're going to get a deal done. And we all know that I want Dak here. Jerry wants Dak here, too. So let's just get this under, under control, kill the speculations. Let's go win. Yeah, it's easy to say, but for the same reason, I'm repeating myself from yesterday, but it may be a new audience, and it's definitely a different co-host. For the same reason (laughs) that Jerry Jones relished the attention that came from the C.D. Lamb holdout for all of training camp in the preseason, at some level, Jerry Jones will relish the intensity of the coverage that will attach to the Cowboys and Dak Prescott when the season ends. And as the confetti is falling for whoever wins the Super Bowl, and I would definitely take the field over the Cowboys for that proposition right now. Topic one is going to be Dak Prescott's future. Yes, They may not keep him. They might keep him. But in the interim, we're talking about the Cowboys, and we're talking about Dak, and that's going to be the thing that leads every show for that entirety of the process, especially because Jerry's going to know how to how to throw a little chum here and a little chum there to keep it going. So I feel like they want this to play mm-hmm. out. They want this to become something that pushes to the brink next February because they get five months, six months out of – coverage and attention that comes from the built-in drama of whether or not Dak's going to stay. Look, I mean, Dak Prescott might be one of the most high-profile free agents ever, right? And that's kind of by virtue of his performance, but it's also by virtue of him playing for the Cowboys and the fact that the Cowboys simply draw media attention. So, I mean, you look at Kirk Cousins and his free agency foray, I mean, that's a comparable quarterback in a lot of ways, right? But you look at Dak Prescott and the fact, the simple fact that he is the Cowboys quarterback is going to make him that much more interesting, you know, and the contract figures that he is going to be able to pursue on the open market is definitely going to make him that much more of an interesting story. So I I think you're right. You know, it might not, it, it could even be during Super Bowl week, right? You got all of the car wash interviews that happen in the media center that and Jerry Jones going through some of those. Right. Imagine if Dak Prescott starts going through some of those and he's representing whatever brand he's representing. And people are going to ask him about, you know, what does he think he's going to do? Does he want to be back with the Cowboys? You want to test the open market? Da 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 da. Depending on who's in the Super Bowl and what kind of Super Bowl matchup we have, that could be the main story of Super Bowl week. So, yeah. I mean, I think that if we look into the crystal ball into the future, like that is absolutely something that is going to dominate coverage in February particularly after the Super Bowl, like that two week interval now that just feels so small between the inter- uh, the the end of the Super Bowl and the beginning of the combine, like that's just gonna be Dak Prescott talk. like i I have no doubt about that unless you know Jerry Jones decides that he wants to give Dak Prescott you know sixty one sixty two million dollars a year, and it's for an offer that Dak Prescott cannot refuse, but I don't really see that happening either. And Miles, think of it this way too. Because you have me trying to project forward what that week is going to be like. It's not just no. Dak if he's it's gonna there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be New Orleans. Whatever he's selling. It's not just Jerry Jones if he would happen to be at Radio Row, which I don't think I've ever seen him there, but maybe this year he goes. It's anybody else on the Cowboys who's there, 
plus Mm -hmm. it's any player from any other team that might be linked to Dak because we know what's going to happen. Once this season ends, and inevitably, there will be teams that fail. I'm sorry, fan of any team out there, but there's a chance. There's a chance your team is going to stink this year. Just kind of brace yourself for it. You might think they're going to be really good. There's a chance they're not. There will be teams that aren't good, change coaches, and are taking a hard look at whether or not the quarterback they have is the quarterback they need. And, oh, what's this? Dak Prescott's available. So that's going to become part of the chatter. For now, it's not, because for now, every team is going to go undefeated and win the Super Bowl. But at some point, when we know which teams are the ones that aren't in contention, that's when we start saying, hmm. And you can already kind of make a list if you wanted to. You could go through the divisions, you can look at the teams, and you can project forward a year and say, if they end up not being good this year, they could be a team that decides to bring in a new quarterback, specifically a Dak Prescott. Hell, I I always run this in my brain through AFC East, AFC North, AFC South, AFC West, and then I do it for the NFC. And I started kind of doing that while I was saying it. The New York Jets, if they fail, you will fail if they fail if and then I'm, I'm i don't i'm not trying to put a hex on the jets but there's somebody who will if they do and aaron Rodgers has somebody said it himself if we if we fail this year everybody's gone yeah he'll likely be gone oh wait here's dak prescott he's available maybe he's the guy that can finally turn this This mess around, this team that hasn't been to the playoffs since 2011, I think, maybe 2010, one of those two years, I think 11. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be a whole host of teams. Yes. Not like half the league, but there will be more than a few that are going to be linked to Dak Prescott, and that's just going to add to that churn, attention, discussion. But the problem is, the problem is for the Cowboys, at some point it's too late Like, oh, we'd like to play this out and milk it for every amount of attention we can get and then keep him. Oh, no, 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 because you can't keep him. There's nothing you can do to keep him. And you're worried about paying him 60. What if there's some other owner out there who's willing to pay him 70? Uh Uh-oh. Bye-bye, Jerry. Bye-bye, Cowboys. Dak is leaving the nest. Yeah. I mean, you know what? All it takes is one, right? That's what we said about the Cleveland Browns and Deshaun Watson and the fully guaranteed contract. All it takes is one. So, you know, what? maybe it's the Raiders, right? You go to Nevada. You, you replace Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell. This is not necessarily supposed to be a very good quarterback draft coming up in 2025, at least if you listen to what folks say right now. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why Dak Prescott should want to test the open market. And, you know, like I said, unless he gets some crazy offer that he cannot refuse – I find it hard to believe that Dak Prescott wouldn't test the open market when he has the chance, because like I said, he's going to be one of the most high profile free agents we have ever seen ever. You know, we need to move on, but I'm fascinated by this. Now the way too early possible destinations for Dak Prescott, we've identified the jets and the Raiders, the Pittsburgh Steelers are a potential Uh destination. Are they not? They've got two guys under contract for this year, and there's no guarantee that at the end of the year, the Steelers are going to say, we want one or both. Let's go get Dak. Let's pay Dak. Mm -hmm. Let's take him away from the Cowboys. The New York Giants. We know, thanks to Hard Knocks, we know that they aren't exactly in love with Daniel Jones. And what better way to stick it to the Cowboys than to take their quarterback. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, that is high drama. That would be Mm -hmm. something. Uh, Any others come to mind? I mean, the the Saints, right? Yeah. Derek Carr, this could be it for him. Anyone else you're thinking of? I mean, the Panthers. Who knows what's going to happen with Bryce Young, but if Bryce Young comes out, and, you know, I apologize, Panthers fans, but if if they stink this year and Bryce Young doesn't look like anything close to a number one overall pick again, then, I mean – the urgency ramps up for Carolina to do something 
to actually solidify that quarterback position. We know David Tepper wants to solidify the quarterback position. That's, I mean, that's obvious. Yeah, but he would have to admit he was wrong about Bryce Young or find someone else to blame for Bryce Young before he can well, cut the I mean, cord on Bryce Young. Because this is all about getting the most out of Bryce Young. But maybe after this year, maybe he decides. Maybe he decides I'm if he, that yeah. we'll just here here's Dak Prescott. I can go get him and I can bring him to town. Up uh, the the Seahawks potentially with Geno mm-hmm. Smith on a year to year contract. Sam yeah. Howell, they kind of like him, but who knows what happens there. So there are some real possibilities. How the Rams the Rams mm-hmm. could move on from Matthew Stafford after this year and go get Dak Prescott, take him away from the Cowboys. So there there will be there will be some teams and it will be the biggest story of late January into February and March until it's done. And you were mentioning biggest free agent ever, probably the biggest free agent since the original free agent, Reggie White, because he was exempted yes, from the yes. franchise tag. He was one of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit that sparked the current model of franchise tag, salary cap, free agency, and the name plaintiffs had a lifetime exemption from the franchise tag. That was their bonus for putting their name on the lawsuit. So he wasn't tagged by the Eagles and was able to go wherever he wanted, and God told him to go to Green Bay, and that was that. So we'll see where God tells Dak Prescott to go and if God can actually overrule Jerry Jones. We'll see. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.